Okay, so enough about the general uh, importance of proteins. Uh, back to the building block, amino acid. Amino acids really are, as the name indicates, possess two functional groups. So the two functional groups are an amino group, right there, and a carboxylic acid or a carboxylic group, both covalently attached to an alpha carbon, amino acid. That's really the by definition what an amino acid that two functional groups attached to the same carbon that carbon can make two other bonds so it has an hydrogen on one side and it has an R group on the other side so by definition all amino acids are going to have first these two functional groups an amino group and a carboxylic group there's actually a single exception in that there's one amino acid will that will have an amino starting with an i instead of a amino group and we'll talk about that later today so this alpha carbon is uh, attached to four different molecules. Let me stick with the, uh, uh, these functional groups. The first thing you want to think about, in, uh, about these functional groups is that they are proton donors slash acceptors. Okay? So this carboxylic group can release an H plus and becomes COO minus and the H plus is released in the medium, in the environment. So they have dissociable protons. They can give off and or accept a proton, an H plus. That's true for the carboxylic group. And that typically happens for the carboxylic group around an acidic pH. 